So let's just get started. Now this is what my face looks like makeup free. All I've done is moisturize with Pond's Dry Skin Cream. So uh, this is how my skin is looking. All the products that I'm using will be listed down below. So if you have any questions about what I'm using at any point, I'll try to hold it up. But I will also list it down below. Now first I'm starting with my favorite brow pencil and it's the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Chocolate. And I'm just filling in my brows. So I'm filling in my brows as I would any normal day. There's nothing I really can do to exaggerate my brows. The shape is already there with the pencil. All I'm doing is kind of outlining that shape and filling in the sparse areas. So next I am carving out my brows with the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC42 as well as the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I will list the shade down below because I cannot remember it off the top of my head. And I'm also going in with a brush to kind of blend it out. Typically I leave it a little bit unblended on the top but since I was recording this video I didn't want to look crazy on camera so I decided to blend it out on top with a brush. So since this is wedding makeup and you want your wedding makeup to last as long as possible, you want to go in with a brow gel to hold them brows in place. I love using my Maybelline Clear Brow Gel as well as for extra hold my e.l.f. Wax Pencil. So first for eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions Palette and I'm using the shade that I am pointing to right now as my transition shade so since this is my wedding makeup look I'm going to blend for a day what you want to do is blend your transition shades as much as you can typically I'm not saying I don't but I'm saying I maybe don't go this hard but today I'm blending that transition shade on in now you guys out there who've been following me for a while already know the deal you guys didn't know I'm not getting married anytime soon you got to find the man before you can actually walk down the aisle but but I recently filmed my top crochet hair for weddings, proms, special occasions and all that. And this is the makeup I had on in that video. And I wanted to show you guys that makeup routine and all that. Just because a lot of times you guys say you want to see my makeup in certain videos. Well, this is that makeup that I had on in that video. Now people who know me know that I never want to have a big wedding. Now whenever I do get married I want it to be me and my future spouse or me and my future spouse and our respective families. But other than that I do not want a guest list more than 20 people. That's just me. I will compromise if my spouse wants something different but me myself and I I do not want a big wedding. Having said that of course I'm going to want to do my own makeup on my wedding day and I think this is the look I would achieve. I don't ever want to look super made up I want to look like myself but done up just a tad bit and I think this is what this makeup routine is so for crease color I'm going in with this shade from the Huda Beauty palette as well as this shade from the Bobbi Brown nude drama eyeshadow palette Since this is a special occasion look, I am going to cut the crease again with that MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC42. So going back in with that Bobbi Brown New Drama Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going in with these two shades combined. Now I have very small eyes if you guys can't already tell or the eyelid is very small so the space isn't as illustrious as a lot of people's space but I'm trying to give you a tutorial of somebody who does have a smaller eyelid space. Now if you're looking for other tutorials for people with small eyes I highly suggest Alyssa Ashley. She is somebody I love because she too has small eyes. I think her eyes are also hooded. Mine aren't that hooded but they are small. Our routine is not going to be the same as 
somebody who has a larger eye shape. A lot of times in my past, I would look at some bomb eyeshadow looks and be like, okay, I'm going to recreate this. And then when I recreate it, it doesn't look anything like the picture. And it took me a while to realize that I have a small eye shape. So a lot of looks are not going to look the same. When I open my eyes, a lot of times you can't even notice that I have eyeshadow on. So for this look, it was very important for me to use colors that were very light and airy to kind of make my eyes pop a little bit. Now to add an extra pop to that eyeshadow, I'm going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and spraying a little bit on a brush and then going in with my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the color Sailor and putting that atop the eyeshadow that I've already laid down. So now going back in with that Bobbi Brown palette, I'm going to use the darker shade on the bottom right and I'm going to just apply that to the outer corner of my eye as well as adding in a little bit of this shade from the Huda Beauty palette. So next I'm going in with the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Eyeliner and I'm going to just do a little line. I'm not doing a wing, which I will on my actual wedding day probably do a wing. But just for the purpose of this video and because sometimes I can get out of control with a wing. Again, going back to the fact that I have a smaller eye shape, we have to be very conscious of the wing that we do because we can go overboard. You really have to do a small baby wing when you do have smaller eyes. A lot of people don't know that I myself did not know that for quite some time but you definitely have to do a small little flick we can't have those you know exaggerated wings that everybody else does because it will overpower our lid so for lashes I'm going to go with the lashes that of course I feel the most comfortable with and it's the Kiss 03 Beyond Natural Lashes. These of course are my favorite lashes so why wouldn't I choose for my big day to go with the lashes that are most comfortable for me. Again I could go heavy I could go mink but again going back to the fact that I have a smaller eye shape a lot of those lashes just don't work for me as beautiful as they are this lash is the one that suits me best. So for primer, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Primer Water. Since this is big day makeup, you want to definitely alleviate any dark circles under your eye or dark spots on your face by using a corrector. And I'm using the Peach Corrector by LA Girl. So since this is special occasion makeup, you want to use a full coverage all day foundation. And today's foundation is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. I love this for a full coverage look along with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. But this foundation was just a better skin match to me right now. And I am in the shade Amber. You guys can check out my foundation review on this. I will link it up above. Now I couldn't find the concealer that I wanted to use for this video but instead I went in with the MAC Studio Finish Concealer that I had right beside me. I never use this for actual concealing under my eyes or in my normal concealing slash highlighting spots. Some people get on me all the time because I say concealer and concealing but really they say it's highlighting. I call it concealing but again I don't typically use this for highlighting my face. I typically just use this for my brows but I went in with it today and it was really good this is really good if you want a full coverage concealer typically I don't want a full coverage concealer but again I was doing special occasion makeup so it kind of makes sense to use this So to set this, I am going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I love this for setting under my eyes. If you guys don't know, I have dry skin, so I do not set my entire face. Even for a special occasion, even if I'm wearing makeup all day, my skin typically doesn't have any issues. I don't have to blot or anything. My skin doesn't get oily. So I don't use powder on top of my normal face makeup because I would look super ashy and it wouldn't be a good sight. But I do set up under my eyes because I can crease up under my eyes. 
I know I was late to the game, but I've been loving this Fenty matchstick in the shade Truffle for contouring and bronzing my face. It's just really good. It goes on very smooth. Now, I know this product is expensive, but I love it for contouring my kind of cheek area. And it's the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Contour Powder in this shade Deep. It just, whew, it does a good job. It's not that, you know, bronzing kind of color. It's very muted kind of a shade that you really need for contouring again, though. It ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. I also use it for contouring my nose as well as just going over top of the areas where I use the cream Fenty matchstick. So next I'm going in with my favorite drugstore cheek palette. Now I don't know if they still sell this and they only sold it at Ulta and it's from Makeup Revolution. It was only $10 but I'm going in with the shades that you see there. It's really just a combination of multiple shades that I'm using and I really like this because it's not too harsh. It's something that you definitely need that just adds a little bit but not too much. Now again I don't know if they still have this at Ulta but this was everything and inexpensive at the same time. So next I'm going in with two highlighters because don't you want to glow on your wedding day? And I'm going in with the MAC O Darling highlighter as well as the Becca Gradient Glow highlighter. And I'm just highlighting kind of the high points of my cheek, my nose area, as well as the inner corner of my eye and my brow arch. So to finish off the face, I'm just going to spray my Urban Decay All Nighter because you want your face to last all day when it's the big day. Next, going in with the lips, I'm going to line my lips with the MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil and then go on top of it with my favorite liquid lipstick. You guys should already know what the deal is. Why not on my big day go with what I love best? And I'm going to go in with Anastasia Sepia and I'm going to go in with the color pop chi just to tone it down a little bit um sepia can be a little bit more autumn -y and to bring it down a little bit to be more spring summertime i'm going to add that color pop chi as well as the nyx liquid lingerie i believe this is in the shade honeymoon to so just add a little bit more lightness to it now this is the finish look i love it i think this is exactly what i would look for for my big day but you guys let me know how you feel about it down below are you feeling this look are you not feeling this look make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my good content make sure you're following me on instagram at leahlevon89 i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye